Well hey and welcome to another sit rep in our Tribulation Soldier ebook series. Now, it's been a little while since we've done one, it's been a very very busy six months, all we revealed in this video will be spent. But this video is a bit more like a, a line in the sand. I think as a person I've taken the, this online platform as far as I can with the type of resources we have, but it's difficult moving and progressing on beyond that. Um, without like local help and finances. We've been building this whole thing all the time, having this brain injury. So all will become apparent in this video, but I just want to thank you guys so much for watching beforehand. At the end of this video, I'm going to tab on our 26th YouTube Shorts compilation from our kids' channel. Usually the best way to get to know us. So yeah, like a real landmark moment for us and seeing where we are at this point. As always guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notifications. There's always loads of videos on our YouTube channels, including our Barney Family Fun for Kids and our Barney Family YouTube. So loads and loads of videos on there, including the wild camping lorry that I'm building. Emily's got our horse Herbie now, so there's a lot of those videos. David's doing airsoft, so lots and lots of stuff going on. Yeah, so this is really quite a milestone, a kind of line in the sand. The last six months have been pretty difficult, you know, and I mean, the kids have had tonsillitis. assembly has got tonsillitis again, actually. I had a really bad chest infection that just knocked me, or just knocked me out, you know. And we've been struggling with the weather a little bit as well, you know, it's been very, very odd weather this first six months of the year, just rain and wind and all sorts of stuff kind of really sort of holding us back in a lot of ways. But yeah, through that, I think, you know, being totally open as I always hope to be, is that myself and Sharon and Sue are pretty much maxed out now. I'm, I'm sure I've said this in previous videos, but we're kind of maxed out now, you know. We're on a child daycare here from the house, you know, and um, we've got David and Emily who always come first, obviously. And of course, at the moment, I'm still filming, editing and right, uh, shaping all these videos. A lot of changes have taken place in our family as well, which has been absolutely great. I feel like we're at a really good stage now. So a very brief history, guys, especially with the Tribulation Soldier. I started writing the Tribulation Soldier ebooks probably two, 2014 is when we actually um, released them. And the idea always was to have, you know, three Tribulation Soldier books and move forward with that. And it morphed into 16 books, four of which are available now, four that are ready to go. And there's eight that are at various stages of production, as it were. And it's because they all intersect together. We're main characters, friends, and you know, spin-offs from that, spin-off stories. There's just, you know, it's just so much in it. Again, if you want to, you know, look at the Tribulation Soldier website, you'll see all about it there. But we released these in about 2014, and this one, David and Emily were really young at the time. And we sort of built up from there. But in 2017, again, I'll be really brief. Um, I went in for a simple hernia surgery, it all went wrong, I was circling the drain I think two days later, I almost died and uh, ended up having this great big open wound for almost a year after that. And when I went back to get the corrective surgery, I can laugh about it now, uh, that was the end of 2018 wasn't it, and um, they went in to put it all back together and repair it. And the next thing I knew, I woke up two and a half weeks later in the ICU in our big hospital in Aberdeen. And when I woke up, I just didn't know what happened. Um, I had, I they definitely thought I'd have some kind of brain damage from the things that I went through during that time, which included me having to be put in a cold suit for 24 hours because my brain was boiling, you know. And pretty much, you know, Sharon had to sort of come to the realisation that I might have died, you know, more than once. Um, but also they prepared them for me having prob probably hard brain damage, you know. And when I woke up and moved through that, I basically, just to keep it short, you know, it took a month in hospital of various rehabs. I had to teach myself to speak again, to walk again, you know, to, to write. My brain trying to tell my fingers what to do just wasn't happening and, and all those sort of things. And I really was told, look, you, you know, you are in for a long rehab here, you know, a long one. We're not talking months, we're talking years. So in that time, again, keeping it really brief, I really started using the YouTube channels to surround our Tribulation Soldier series, you know, because it's a lot of books and, you know, it'd be great to have that. And I used it as like a, a, a personal rehab, you know, and it took me a long time, you know, especially in the beginning uh, of YouTube, you know, it was a lot of me just trying my best to figure out stuff a 12 year old kid could figure out, you know, just, just put videos together and put them on and build this online platform. 
and that's probably the reason why we're at the stage where we're probably about 2,000 videos online and we've been doing it over a period of years. But it was all rehab, you know, all the, you know, the holidays, you'll see this playlist called Come and Holiday With Us. There's holidays that date right back to like 2020, I think it is. Um, you know, and all of those holidays that we went away were kind of like working holidays. And each one just gave me more experience, more experience as a family to do this YouTube stuff. But that was a lot of hard work, you know. It, it's great on the video, you know, in the videos you, you kind of just see me at my best moments and stuff, you know. But it really hasn't been the case off the camera in, in a lot of respects. You know, it's been a long journey. It's always been positive. It's always moved forward, you know, and I feel better now than I ever have. But part of me still thinks I'm just going to have to live with whatever injury I have left up there. So just to let you know, it's it's almost like as simple as, you know, driving in the motorbikes and all, it's absolutely fine. And I can do so much more now and uh, all those sort of things, you know. But some real basic stuff, you know, like if I've got to go into the town and maybe have to visit three or four shops. Sometimes I have to write down the shops and what I need to get from them before I go because I get a bit confused. And it just seems to be the way things are. Hoping it will get better, I'm sure it will. But you know, YouTube has been a tremendous rehab for me, personally. You know, the kids have loved building their channels. They've got three YouTube channels now. The kids have loved it. We've loved it as a family to, to really get into the whole YouTube scene. And now it's a second nature. And David and Emily have been doing YouTube for five years now. You know, Emily's only 12, David's only 11. You know, it's pretty much all they know. It's us filming our lives here at the house, you know, and filming what we're doing outside and holidays and projects and all those things. But having written four big books and then the four books afterwards, which we'll release in time to come, and the ones that we have ready, you know, really hasn't been easy. Everything I've done, pretty much, because Sharon's maxed out, you know, and other people have got things to do, I've just had to do it all myself. That makes things ten times harder. And there's times I got a cameraman, which is um, son Jamie, and even David and Emily do the camera work sometimes. But um, it's so much easier. But see, when you're doing it, oh, me, just, just trying to think of positions and light. And I'm trying to do something in the wild camp and lorry, like building a tool station. I've got to think about how to do that. And but it's great training for me. It's great for me to get my sort of head together and my mind organised. But there's only so much a person can do. And I have been a little concerned over the years, you know, whether the ebooks. I mean, I have no problems with the storylines. I absolutely love them, totally passionate. When it comes to, like, the Christian content, absolutely no problem at all. It's the little errors that concern me, you know, and I've been over these ebooks over and over again. And, of course, over the years, you have to update here and there and, and so on, you know. So it's a slight concern going into the future. And it's the same with the YouTube videos, you know. Up until this point, there, there's no way I could say that it's, 100% perfect. There's, there's just no way on God's green earth. Whether it just be spelling mistakes or things we said we'd do, you know, that we couldn't do because of money or time or something like that. Because we've never had huge amount of readers or viewers or anything like that at all. The online platform we've built is still in a lot of ways untested, you know, it, to, to cope with whatever's going to come. And the only way I can figure out those issues and problems is when it actually happens. But the books have to be as near as damn. I've been over and over and over it again, you know. And we're actually going to put on a playlist on our YouTube channels which says things we said we'd do. And I've actually got a note of them in, the, in an Excel spreadsheet. I've got a note of them all the way back to the things that we'd like to have done at that time. But just, you know, we just couldn't afford it or, or have the time to do it. So when things do kind of move forward for us, it's going to be so great going back and doing all these things. But the way I've had to build this, and it comes from a, a saying, progress, not perfection, you know. Perfection's a myth, you know, and no, I don't mean pure quality, but perfection's a bit, you know. And really it's progress. That was always been the big thing. And it kind of looks like as you're moving forward, you've left a lot of jobs open and bits behind you that need to be done and all the rest of it. But you've kind of got to do that to keep moving through, to keep progressing. So, for example, doing the wild camp and lorry, which is a big, big job for, for me, being an unprofessional, really, when it comes to that sort of stuff. I can get by. I'm a jack of all trades. I'm no pro. It's difficult because I've got rag work to do in the field. I've got the stable to finish. I've got all these sort of things. But the great thing about it all is it keeps providing us with content. You know, It bugs me. I want jobs finished and jobs done. 
and we have finished YouTube project. Our lovely 1200 Bandit motorbike vlog and bike was completed, you know, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy with it. And we'll put it on the road as, as soon as we move forward. I'm using the Fireblade at the moment, which is absolutely awesome. But um, we'll keep that aside. Other projects were like our kitchen, for example. These were like lockdown stuff. Sorry to mention coronavirus lockdown, guys. Um, but like the, the big deck at the back, that was all coronavirus time. The, the kitchen, the quad bike, the bikes, the Land Rover. We turned into a wild camping vehicle, you know, the, the roof tent. It was all that time as well. But what I've found is, is moving forward with this, that I've just had to do as much as I can with that and then move on and as much as I can with that and then move on to keep progressing. Because obviously with the YouTube channels, you've got to build up this content, don't you? So there's so much more I'd like to be absolutely sure about, you know, but we're in that position now basically where we need the finances to get the people to help, you know, and you can't get people to help without finances. It's just as simple as that, you know, you guys will all know that. I cannot keep doing what I'm doing. I cannot keep it to this level, but what bugs me more is I can't progress in other areas now, you know, especially the gaming channel, you know, that we did. Um, and we've done about 70 videos on that or something, I think. There's so much more I want to do there, but, you know, we've got the horse Herbie now and I've got to really work with him He's took a lot to settle in, very important. You know, the wild camp and lorry and all the other things that we're doing. So doing everything for this past five years, I think has finally taken its toll, you know. But over that time, I, I cannot, there's no way anyone could guarantee perfection um, if you did have a brain that worked properly all that time. But my brain just hasn't been working properly all that time, you know. And I know it'll get better, absolute great faith in that, no problem, but it take, it's gonna take time. But I really want to move forward now, you know, I just, I just want to move forward, you know, it's, uh, it's not tiring, it, you know, it's not like off calm and I'm like, mm, you know, because I still have to do these things, but it is tiring, you know, and a lot of you guys will know that just overdoing it can make you tired and get you down and stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. So what is for the future? Of course, I've got great faith, you know, that this will happen, you know, because I've, I've been doing this a long time now. But um, when's a, another big story? But one of the most critical points there's going to be is if this does move forward in a way that I couldn't cope with all by myself. And the great thing is, you know, with the ebooks, you know, authors don't really tend to speak with readers much or anything like that. I do want to in the future, you know. And YouTubers, you know, answering questions and comments and all that sort of stuff. You know, I don't want to just sit back and just let the ebooks run and the YouTube run and just you know sit at home and watch TV. That's not us at all. You know, I want to get really involved. But there will come that point where that will happen. And the system that I have in place just now is basically where I've switched off comments all over the social media platform for now. Because I just can't adequately keep people safe at this precise moment in time. We need help. We need people for that. So everything kind of flows back towards our forum, which is on the Tribulation Soldier website. And the idea there is that if things do take off, that's a place where anyone can look and go, right, that's where they're at. That's where they're at, you know. And hopefully you'll see the progress as time goes on. You know, this is a real video on faith, this one, I'll tell you. But I've also got another system I want to put in place. This is our Tribulation Soldier situation report video. But what I'm almost always going to have now is status reports, which will come on, you know, as we go along. So it's a great thing with social media. I can keep you guys so well informed and communicate all these things to you so well through these little status reports saying this is where we are and this is what we're doing so that you guys know. Because I think anyone watching this, any reasonable individual would know that if this was all to take off in a moment with me sitting here by myself, you know, it would just absolutely crush me and there's no way that I could do it but of course when we do get those kind of resources I can then get some help and start to really build this thing the way that we need it to go so I'm going to have the status report system I'm also going to have an emergency action message system as well these are all military terms you know um, you know I was in the military years ago and uh, tried out for the Royal Marines and all that sort of stuff we've got military family uh, and, and parts of our family I should say so it's a big big thing and, you know, that really comes through in the Tribulation Soldier series. Um, but situation reports, regular like this. Status reports would be maybe like a weekly thing. 
emergency action messages in case there's something really wrong. But I, I really couldn't see it. You know, the ebooks are fairly straightforward. Most YouTubers find YouTube and Facebook to be a, a is an easy platform to to run these days. But there would be that critical period, you know, whatever that period is, six months a year, you know, where we shift from me not having readers um, and not having subscribers to having them, you know. And um, I really want to make sure that that runs really well because we are in this for people. That's who we are. That's what we do, you know. We want to, especially on the on the tougher end, is to be there for people, you know, that maybe don't have a family of their own and they really need encouragement, help, you know, and... Um, um, the hope always is with us sharing our lives, our marriage, you know, our family, that you guys can really see a bit of encouragement, some instruction if you need it, you know, some hints, tips, even just enjoyment, just seeing David and Emily growing up, you know, and seeing Herbie, our horse, develop as we go along and, and all those things, just to be a part of it. And that was always going to be the same with the live, a live channel that we practice on quite a lot. And we're pretty much ready for that. We could do that now. The, the real live stuff. And um, again, most people in the world, you know, you've got family, you've got friends, you know, but there's a lot of people who don't, you know, and um, I know that very, very well. And the hope is that this will be an all-purpose platform. Yes, yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. Really, that's at a critical stage, you know, just lying in the sand stuff. I mean, I've tried and tried over the past six months and I just can't seem to get the things done that I need to do. And it just points towards needing help. You know, just make things so much easier having the finances, you know. But again, I can't progress too much farther without it now. So if you've never seen us before, guys, you know, I just really hope that um, this has just given you the very briefest overview about the Tribulation Soldier um, ebooks and the surrounding, the big surrounding social media that we've built over the years. Again, hoping it's like an all-purpose, under-one-roof type of um, platform. I will put together those that status report system just ready so when things do kind of move, start moving forward, I can keep you guys so well informed all the time. And like we have our YouTube lives here, be totally open as well, you know, when it comes to building this type of a business and the pitfalls, the mistakes, the ups, the downs, you know, that's what it's all about, especially for us YouTubers. It's not about presenting this perfect life, you know. We have our problems too. Poor little Emily's got tonsillitis, she's off to school today actually. Sharon's got a hugely sore throat, so is David, it's just going around. We've kind of had the uh, illness after illness lately. But that's what it's meant to be, and I just hope in time, guys, that we'll become even more real as we go along, you know. But at the moment, I've just got to keep building. I've just got to keep building. So listen, thanks so much for watching. One of the big things we do is our shorts, which is on a daily basis. <laughs> Short videos, uh, Instagram reels, Sharon back. Uh, TikTok videos, all those sort of different things, and I put together a monthly YouTube Shorts compilation, and they're really handy for people that are maybe just see our platform for the first time. You'll really get to know us through that. You know the motorbikes, the camping, the bearded dragons, the <laughs> the horses, you know, a Herbie, and all those things. You know, especially fishing, and it is just such a great way to get to know us. So for now, thank you so much. For watching i'm always so grateful for people just sitting so good just to be sitting be listened to in a way you know um and yeah we're just going to keep pushing and keep moving forward i'm going to scale it down a bit this next little while but um we'll just keep pushing and pushing and pushing for now god bless you and thank you I'm quite close to this thing. Look at the face. Yeah, it's a tight front face, I'm not going to be skewed like that.
and this guy's is how Spike lets us know that he walks out. Look, hey Spike, oh, he hears me, listen. I'm still in the doorway, he hears me. I know Spike, you want out, son? You want out? Right, quick zoom out, guys, there we go. You ready to come out again, young man? Hey? Oh, can I do this with one hand? Oh, can I do this with one hand? Yes, we can't, Spike, we can't. Fulman all the way up. Now he, he might take a wee while to come out because he normally does. Hey Spike. Look. So he'll now sit there for a little while and decide what he really wants to do. You coming? Come on then. Yeah, yeah, go, oh, yeah, monster. So you'll just head out for some exercise now. Here, look. Can you hear guys? Sorry, Emily's buzz cutting my hair. Wait. Try to find a place to bury this. Wait. Try to find a place to bury it. We've, we've shared a few of these videos, I don't know why we do it. Are you okay, baby? You're okay, Mike. Are you okay, Mike? She doesn't get stressed as such. Listen. Are you okay, Mike? She's away again, Emily. I wish she was again, look. She'll be again, look. Can you hear her? And she whines. Oh, what's going on here? It's okay. Look, she'll be again. Rosalie, shall we back to you? Sorry, Emily's cutting my hair, guys. Look. I exactly think, I don't, shaving the head. I don't think she's stressed. Look at her. Barbie's bitchy. <laughs> That's Emily, by the way, for both. Did you itchy hair be? Don't give me a bite. Good boy. Oh. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Davido. Happy birthday to you. Do you have birthday? Happy birthday! Right, guys, just a quick look at where we are while camp, and we're up at a place called Glen Lartrick, which is the reservoir that um, services our hometown way up here in the country. Our, our hometown's are way, way over there. We've already caught one fish, which is great. We're going to be fishing all evening. And this is going to be an upcoming video, obviously. Look at that. But let's get back real quick. Look, here's camp. Three tents. Here goes. I think we've just timed it just right. David's getting me and him on some meatballs and potatoes. You got it, son? Almost instantly. Yeah, baby, it's looking good. So David's cooking his dad, old dad's supper, hey, that's the stuff, that's the stuff, we've got the fishing gear with us, we've already had a fish, because I snore, that's me away over there, David's new pop-up, Jamie's one, oh we're ready, here we go, the little one, first one of the evening, David's going to cook back, ah, you'll have to, yeah, there we go, Ooh. Oh, you'll have to get him again. He's, he's just a wee bit of shell shock, that's all. That's one. Look at the night. That's the first one we can do. Go for it. Throw it in. That's it. He's away this time. This is us trying to leave, and Emily's having to hold on to the gate because Herbie's nearly pushing the gate over. <laughs> Try to scratch his bum. So guys, this is cooking with David's bacon again, eh, son? But he's going to have the eggs on shot as well, aren't you? Look at this, and this is where we are. Just that wild camp and look. And it's breakfast time, isn't it? We've got far too much bacon. I mean, you could feed like 10 people. Two packets uh, and I think we're taking one home with us, eh? 
Here we are. So back on the mobile camp and lorry, guys. Look. The mist of use coming over. You're still casting him. Yeah, yes. He's still casting here. He's almost down to his racehorse with the end, guys. Look, see the, the tan on his face. Good boy. Gums. Gums. Slide on the floor, here he comes. Good boy. Look at that big hungry boy. Yeah, here he goes, look. We're sitting there for a wee while trying to tempt him to come. Yeah, always oh, a big hungry boy, I know, I know, I know, I know. Get him so yeah, guys up close with Spike. We'll give him about three of these. Eh, yeah, sorry, ten of these actually, that's not true. Ten. Hey, Spike. And that'll be him for a couple of days and he gets a salad in the mornings. What you say? Yeah, see you doing. Yeah, you're all excited, aren't you? You're right there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Good boy. I've lost count now because I'm doing this video obviously. It's a six. You might get a spare one in this paper. I'm not going to bring them with you. I'm not going to bring them with you, Spike. No crazy all the time. No crazy. Now guys, this is the thunder, look. He's okay, good boy. It's okay. He was absolutely fine outside, but just because he's in this kind of enclosed space, he's not so happy, are you, darling? It's okay. You're okay. Listen, it's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. You're okay. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, that was a loud one when it hurts. Yeah, it's okay. okay, good boy. Okay. That was a loud one, I know. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's good boy. Okay. So guys, check this out. This is Emily's artwork from school. Go for it, Missy. Yeah, so that's a mandala we did like at the start of the year. That's just some colour that we were experimenting with. Wait to see some of this, you guys. Going across to the ones you were showing us. Look at that. That's level four stuff, apparently, guys. Yeah, level four is like the highest. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Next. 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 Okay. We're still trying to do 60 second shorts, guys. So you're just watching yeah, the film. Yeah, that was... Uh, Landscape that we did with watercolour. Who's that other one you showed me? Oh, yeah, the fruit one. Yeah, wait to see the fruit one, guys. So that's just up to 40 seconds then, so do it. Well, there's some, like, experimenting. There's some experimenting. There's the. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah, take a look at that, guys. You just have to really kind of look at it. That is absolutely fantastic, anyway. It's so well done, guys. I don't know if you're going to wrap it up, but it'll be a work good. Trying to relax. Get there, Billy, get there. <laughs> just right up there, isn't it? Again, it's just so good. This is him just out the field, look. I'm over there, and he's so excited. Herbie will absolutely do what I ask him to do, guys, you know that? But you've got to just let him have a wee bit of freedom, eh, darling? Yes. So that's us heading up towards the woods, like. Oh, look at him. He's lost most of his winter coat now as well, like. You always see a thoroughbred's ribs a little bit. <laughs> Where's he going? You always see a thoroughbred's ribs a little bit. He's like excited, aren't you? Yes! Now I have to watch, I don't get in between you and the wall, Herbie. That's a dangerous place to be. Yes, we'll just turn you this way. This way. Good boy. Good boy, he's all excited. Yes, the woods are lovely. Normally we can get there, but he does stop to eat some grass. This is your time, isn't it? Hey, this is your time. Another campfire, another wild camp down here at the river. Look, it's still absolutely beautiful outside. But David is treating his own dog to some bacon, isn't he, for you? It's only 8 o'clock, I'm running out of steam. I need some bacon, I need some energy for tonight. And we're going to sleep up in the field, aren't we? Here we go. King David, King of Campfires. Uh, plenty bacon for the two of us. Twelve will do, eh? Six each. We'll manage that. Oh, yeah. So, guys, we're up in the field camping tonight in the wild camping lorry, like. And this man here has found a cool bag. You know there's food in there, don't you? Look, he's still going at it. I'm going to have to take it away. That's my bacon in there, son. That's my bacon in there, big boy. Yeah. Good boy. 
Good boy. Oh. I saw you, yeah, good girl. <laughs> yeah, crazy mutt. Oh, yes, he's zoomies as well. That'll be a good one. Mm, good. So, this is me and Young Dobbs just back from a wee blast on the bike. Yes, I'm looking good. Looking good with the body armour, look. But yeah, that's how the fire blew. Just a bit putting away for the night. But right after a quick. <laughs> A little bitty, a little bitty. So here he is guys, now 11 days early. Mm -hmm. David has just got his new airsoft handgun. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who don't know, David does airsoft as part of our Burning Family Fun YouTube channel. So mm -hmm. He's building up his collection at the moment. What have we got, son? Colt 1911. This is the one we want, the Colt 1911. Mm -hmm. It's quite heavy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, good yeah, see if these. Can you tell me? I'm trying to remember it as well, actually. I'm just asked them okay. to come down. So there's a pressure plate there that you can't shoot without holding it down. All right. And then there's also that bit. Yeah. Which, even if you have that down, you can't shoot. Yeah. And this is a, this is David's first CO2 one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Check out the mod, guys. This is the cartridge that goes in there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then uh, we load it up with the BBs and that thing is ready. I'm going to wait, we should get any test fighters so you know, as soon as we get CO2. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is Emily giving Herbie an itch. We just removed a tick, we do our daily tick, don't we, check over. And we found one, didn't we, and it's a little bit itchy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit itchy. So Emily's just giving her all the itch. It's absolutely, look, look, look at him. Oh, he's loving it. He's loving it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Salvador's got the bike helmet on, guys. Look, he's taking it all the way. All the way. Weather's crappy, but he's taking it all the way. Can't he screw my helmet on? Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Who's the man? Who's the man? I'm in the Trumpkin Your stage one of getting the motorbike in here. Gonna go in the lorry. You look like you're about to tip over. Here he comes, look at him. Um, you're so proud of you, aren't we? Yes. Did they send this to your mummy? Yes, would they send it? Yeah. Yeah, mummy. Yeah, mummy. Yeah, mummy. Just speed it up. I don't want to fall here and get trampled. Hey, no. I know. Oh, look at you. Good boy. I'm so proud of you. Well done, you. Are we go for a wonder? Yeah. No like Julian. We no like Julian at all, do we, Kibal? Really? That's playing. Oh, are we nipping the bum? They are playing. Are you guys playing? Oh, they're off. Are we like, whoa. <laughs> Wow! He does Herbie Bucks up, dude! Oh, they're away, look! They are having lots of fun. Oh! Look! Oh, we'll have to get Herbie his friend as soon as we can. Imagine them! We're cooking with David at the state of the River Tea again, like. So he's got a white chocolate cookie, look, and he's roasting it. And it's just, the sun's just going down, so this is a bedtime snack, as we call it. This is how we murder it. Murder it. Do the other side. Do the other side as well. So the chocolate will melt a little bit. Nice, sunny boy. Nice. I just have to. Cause that's still hot. I might just like 